on Joe Grand Make Magazine Grand Idea Studio This is a Make Video Podcast It is time to rock the house for you <coughs> <coughs> Text to speech and radio frequency identification They go together like Peanut butter and jelly Like chocolate and more chocolate Or like ones and zeros Yeah Let's start with some text to speech <laughs> This is a text to speech module that I've designed for Parallax it's a great low-cost way to integrate speech synthesis right into your own projects. In the most simple configuration, we only need four I.O. lines from your favorite microprocessor to control the text-to-speech module. So what we're going to do now is set up uh, our own sample program on our PC, send some serial data to this device, and create some spoken voice. This thing on. Here's our development environment for the basic stamp 2, and we have a demonstration program set up. I'm going to type in some text that we wanted to say. Greetings. Professor Falcon, shall we play a game? Moving right along to RFID. Radio frequency identification. RFID is a generic term for any sort of non-contacting technology that's used to identify objects or people. It's been available for decades, but just now it's becoming really popular for mainstream. It's used in all sorts of things like access control, identification of stock, uh, casino chips, passports, humans, all sorts of really cool stuff. A typical RFID system consists of an RFID reader and a tag. There's two different tag types. What we're demonstrating today is a passive tag, which has no external power required. Uh, and there's all sorts of different frequency ranges, depending on your environment and the system that you want to set up. RFID tags come in all shapes and sizes, from little pill-shaped ones to uh, we've got all sorts of little buttons and cards and wristbands and giant stickers, too. RFID readers also come in different shapes and sizes, and basically, the reader will transmit an electric or magnetic field that will activate the tag. And then the tag responds with a unique identifier or other data. This reader that we're demonstrating is made by Parallax and can read certain tags up to three or four inches away. This is gonna be so cool! Let's hook this thing up and go! Yeah, come on! Let's go! Let's go! Now we've got our RFID reader all set up, connected to the computer. Anytime we hold a valid tag up to the reader, we'll see its unique identifier printed on the screen. Let's take these two technologies and stick them together. Cram them together. We've put together an access control system using the RFID module and the text-to-speech circuitry. Here's the code for our project. It runs on a basic stamp, and when the RFID reader reads a tag, this program will compare that tag to the tags that we've stored in our database. Depending on if the tag is valid or not, will receive a different response back from our text-to-speech circuitry. Now when I take my RFID access card and I put it up to the reader, it'll know who I am. Access granted. Welcome. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate that. And it works for me, too. Access granted. Welcome, Joe. Yes, I'm in. But it doesn't work for me. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Mm. We've shown you some basic things that you can do with RFID and speech synthesis. And now it's your turn to build on these examples. So take some pictures of your projects and share them. Put them up on the Make Flickr pool. And remember, you'll, you'll always, always be a winner. winner. Data transfer complete. End of transmission.